Hey YouTube, it's your girl Izzy back at it again and today we are going to talk about my personal BBL journey. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe. So I'll go ahead and wait. Perfect. Well, welcome to the fam. So before we get too deep into this, I want to put a disclaimer out there that this video is about plastic surgery. Therefore, or if you're against it or do not like it, you can kindly exit because I don't want any negativity surrounding my energy or anything that, you know, I put, you know, my time and money into. And this is for an educational video for my followers and also people just on YouTube just curious about, you know, what is the, you know, first step through the last step on how to go ahead and move forth with plastic surgery. So, like I said, you can get to the left. Okay. Perfect. So... I wanted to make this video um, for a lot of reasonings. Um, first reason is, you know, I actually was on YouTube doing my own personal research about this particular surgeon. I'll get into that a little later in the video. And I really didn't see a lot of information, a lot of girls making, you know, informational videos about, you know, their journey beforehand, during, and after. So um, I'm your girl, I'm here. Um, and I want to take you on this, you know, life changing, changing journey. So, um, I wrote down some questions, so, um, I will not forget to cover, you know, majority of what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, the first question is the surgeon. So I actually live in Florida myself and, um, it took me a while to, find out like where I want to go, who I want to work on me, things of that sort. So um, I actually was looking out of the country at first. And then a lot of my friends and family were like, hey, Izzy, like you need to chill because, you know, we've been seeing a lot of botch stories, a lot of countries that have guidelines allow the surgeons to put anything and everything in your butt. And like, I'm not trying to have any diseases, you know, later down the road so y'all can do your own research about that this is my you know journey why i chose who i chose was because me personally based on my personal research um i just feel like staying in the united states is the most safer route just for my health personally i'm not telling you where to go or you know if going to the dr is bad yada 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 just from my research and the people i've reached out to that receive bbls they highly recommend especially my first round to stay in the United States. So that's my decision. Okay, cool. So um, anyways, I decided to go to Miami. Um, my surgeon is Oliver Simmons at New Life Plastic Surgery. And my experience with the whole entire process of getting everything together was pretty much, you get what you pay for. Uh, a lot of dolls that I spoke to before uh, mentioned that, you know, booking in Miami is very um, fast paced. Um, the customer service is shaky. Um, I don't want to name drop, but I had a coordinator. Um, she was okay. I mean, you know, the communication wasn't spectacular. Um, but she didn't answer my questions and now also you have to put in consideration um, a lot of girls are starting to get surgeries within the United States because of coronavirus and the travel restrictions. So a lot of these surgery centers are very understaffed and overwhelmed. So you also need to take that into consideration. Um, but for the most part, you know, my whole experience with my coordinator wasn't bad at all. Um, eventually she got my questions answered. Um, I put down my deposit. And overall, it probably took me a year to get this all together because I was just really hesitant. I was scared. Um, I didn't really have the finances at the time. There's a lot of things to why it took me a, a whole entire year to get it together. But I finally got together. Um, I wanted to go to a surgeon that was board certified. And according to my research, um, Dr. Simmons um, is triple board certified. Um, he has been at surgery center for, you know, a couple years. Um, he does have a good, um, reputation as well. Um, I'm actually also in some Facebook groups as well. And a lot of girls say that, you know, he's very, he, he listens to what you have to say. He's very attentive. He's super nice. He has great customer service. And a lot of girls, you know, they come out 
really nice. So that's why I chose Dr. Simmons. Um, my surgery date is early March, 2021. So I have some time to get everything together. And um, ooh, I'm so excited. I uh, wanna go over height and BMI. So I am 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven half on a good day. And um, I actually started, um, my weight was 155. And now I believe I'm around 160. I mean, I gained a little bit of weight, but not too much. Um, I do want to show you guys my before. So, let me stop sucking in. Okay, so this is the front and this is the side. I already have a good foundation. Um, this is my butt. I have a little bit of a butt. And then my back. I've gained a lot of weight in my back and in my stomach. Um, so I'm planning on gaining probably about 10 more pounds. I want to be at around 170 because the <laughs> what I want is I want a dramatic change. And when I say a dramatic change, I want like, boom, bah, you know what I'm saying? I want my booty to be heavy, like, boom, you know what I'm saying? Like heavy. So with that being said, like, I'm not going to sit up here and spend, you know, X amount of dollars to go through all this pain. This is my personal opinion. I don't want to look natural. Like, obviously, I don't want to look like a diaper, diaper booty. That's not cute. But like, I want to look really, really nice. And um, with that being said, I have a lot of muscle weight. Um, but I am starting to gain more fat. Um, I do have athletic background. Um, I was a cheerleader for all these years, so I just kind of, my muscle weight stayed with me, but, um, now I'm starting to gain more weight in my stomach. Um, I'm starting to gain weight in my back, which is great for BBL because they take out the fat out of your stomach and out of your back and they put it in your hips and your butt. Now, if you want additional areas, you have to pay for that, unfortunately. Um, and that's in the United States of what I've seen. Um, a lot of times it's just the front and the back. Um, now, if I want to do arms, I actually consider doing arms, but a lot of girls that I spoke to, um, they said basically um, arm lipo is kind of a waste. Um, there's not really any difference. Um, and I also thought about my inner thighs, but um, I don't think they're that bad. If anything, I, what I could do, I could just work out. I mean, I'm really, you know, bottom heavy compared to my top. Um, so that's that. Um, so if you guys want in my next video, I can kind of go more into detail, like what body shape I want and things of that sort. But for this video, it's more of an introductory, introductory video, um, basically, you know, discussing what I like and, you know, my decisions made, you know, prior to the BBL, um, things I am hesitant about. Honestly, I'm really just scared about like not getting what I want. I'm scared about like getting all this weight and like it losing all of the fat. I know it's very normal to lose up to uh, I think 30 or 40 percent of the fat, but like I would just be so devastated if it doesn't work out. I mean, it's it's from my research. My research. I cannot speak today. From my research. I've seen, you know, a lot of girls um, actually, you know, have the results last, but you have to keep up with your diet. Um, I only see maybe two or three people really complain about um, losing like completely their whole BBL or it doesn't look a difference. Like, I think it just depends on the person. It depends on the diet. Um, it depends on how much weight you gained before and how much you're able to keep. So there's a lot of factors going into that. So that's one thing I'm hesitant about. Obviously, I'm hesitant about the recovery process, but, you know, I've reached out to multiple friends that have actually had a BBL. They said that, you know, it's obviously painful. I mean, you're going under the knife. I mean, they're literally taking a tool and, like, shoving it through your body multiple times very, very fast and removing fat. I mean, it's an evasive surgery. But um, they said that it doesn't last too long. I mean, your first day, you're knocked out, yada, yada, yada. So we'll see about that. So those are my two main concerns. Um, am I prepared, baby? Um, no. <laughs> so I do have a couple more months to get everything together. Um, I'm trying to decide, um, like how I'm gonna get my supplies. I'm gonna wait to, to, should I go to Miami and wait and just get it there or pack it up and um, take it with me and like order before. 
I'm not for sure what I want to do, but I know for a fact that um, I need to get on that. Um, so yeah, I need to go ahead and figure out my BBL pill situation, um, the Fajas, um, you know, just the small little things. And also, um, I need to make sure that I go to the store and I need to start buying Ensure Boost, um, milkshakes so I can start getting some weight. And like I said, I only want like 10 max, maybe 15 pounds, nothing more than that, because I'm not trying to be too heavy for the surgery and just be a mess. So uh, my BMI right now, I think it's 24, 25. Very great BMI, BMI for um, a BBL, almost perfect. That's what the coordinator said. But um, like, like I said, the, what I want is I need to gain some more weight. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just want to come on here and um, introduce you guys to my journey. And um, I'm going to start posting more on this channel. Uh, let me know in the comments like what you guys want to see, any questions you guys may have for my next video. I'm going to try to be more consistent on here. Um, I'm going to try to head back on here, you know, maybe, you know, post a couple more videos each and every week, uh, maybe go on some lives. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and follow my journey, I haven't made it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and make an Instagram just for this. Um, so you guys can come along, um, with me. So that's pretty much it for today. I do appreciate you guys coming to my video, watching it, liking it and subscribing. Um, and I will see you on our next video. So let's go ahead and get snatched, girl. I can't wait. And... We in here. Ew. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so sorry. I'm just so excited. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.